All right, today we're uh, taking a look at a bank-owned uh, home here in Crystal Park in Avondale, Arizona. Uh, it's a four-bedroom, two-bath, 1,615-square-foot home uh, built in 2002. Uh, we've got a lot size of 5750. So um, this subdivision is actually located at uh, like 115th Avenue, uh, just south of Thomas on the east side of the road. So. Not a big subdivision, but very quiet. So as of right now, I haven't heard any dogs barking, which is kind of fairly odd for out in this area. So we've got a side entrance. So it looks a little bit darker just because of the paint. Uh, we've got a nice dark carpet. Not really a saltier tile, but uh, kind of a reddish, reddish tile. So which actually goes into all the main high traffic areas. Uh, straight to our right was one of the bedrooms. It's got a closet, but uh, ultimately could be used as a uh, office or a den. Uh, nice little pot shelf. So decent ceiling fans throughout. Uh, I don't see any settling, cracking or anything. Uh, so there's the cable outlet. So ultimately it's kind of uh, set back into the wall a little bit. Um, large open kitchen. Only thing really missing is going to be the stove. A uh, nice large kitchen island. Let's take a look under here. So, it doesn't look like it's actually extensive or anything. It just looked like in the past some stuff had kind of dripped. I think there was obviously stuff stored under there. So, but uh, overall looks good. Uh, master bedroom is right off the kitchen here. So, carpet looks good. I only noticed uh, like one little faded spot in there. So, I mean, ultimately it needs painting. You can definitely tell that they didn't tape their lines so awesome fantastic job and I got a walk-in closet so double sink to the master clean under here mm, that just looks like something from something somebody stored um, possibly a little bit of dripping Toilet, combination shower tub. High ceiling fan, vaulted ceilings, gives you a little bit more of an open feel to it. Um, security system is still here. Let's walk down the hallway. So this, this model doesn't have a weird indentation in it. So we've got our full, full hall bath. This one looks clean. I don't see any sign of dripping in there. So linoleum, and they obviously took a little bit better care of it because it's not curled up at the edges, so they definitely weren't uh, putting water all over it. So, but uh, yeah, it looks nice and clean. So to the right is the laundry room. So it's got its own room instead of just on the way to the garage. So here's our second bedroom, classic accent wall, does have blinds, uh, ceiling fan, room's probably about 10 by 10, uh, we do have a sliding closet door. I'm going to guess that this is kind of a little set aside, you could easily put a desk in here, um, I don't know what that other outlet is for. So garage is a little dark, I can see that it does have a garage door opener up there, uh, we do have an electric uh, water heater. So then we do have our last bedroom in the back. So this one's maybe about 10 or a little bit more wide, but uh, it is deeper. Nice little window. So sliding closet door and the ceiling fan. And we'll go ahead and walk through. Oh, and this is actually something nice. Obviously linen closet in the hallway. So laminate wood floors. Um, I don't know why this baseboard is pulled away a little bit. Um, it is missing that baseboard over there and over there. Um, doesn't look like there's any damage to the floor. Um, there's obviously no, um, what do you want to call that? Um, there's a little transition piece between there and the other room. So uh, the baseboards may have gotten pulled out when they were putting that in. Uh, little puppy door. So we do have a covered patio.
take a look out here. So it looks like some of the vegetation is dying a little bit. I'm going to assume lack of water. See, this was frosted a long time ago. There we go. There's our AC unit. Side inches for the garage. And back gate. There you go. And uh, this is actually the part that's directly behind the house that I was just 